at this moment at the main library at Andalas University. I am about to meet a friend of mine. She is a very inspiring person. Um, she's a young writer and her name is Mita. Ten years ago, I debuted as a writer and now, in 2020, she debuted and that's her. Say hi. Hi. Okay. Um, yeah. So here we are with my friend Mita. How are you Mita? I'm well. Um, can you introduce yourself a bit? Mm, yeah, my name is Mita Handayani, but uh, some of my people also call me Mita, so actually I have to name mm -hmm. Mita and also Mimit. So whatever you want, you want to call me Mimit or Mita, but uh, most of my uh, friends call me Mita. Mm -hmm. And then I am English department student at Analash University, and for now on, I'm still fighting to get my bachelor degree. And then I'm from uh, one of the regencies in West Sumatra, South Solo. Oh, South Solo, that is very interesting. Yeah. I've been so, to South Solo recently, actually, on my birthday, and uh, I must say it's cold. Yeah, in some areas, yes, but in some areas, not. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, anyway, thank you for doing this interview with me. Um, where did you get the... First of all, I would like to congratulate you. Thank you. For the birthday and yes. uh, on your first book. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. Members of Netherlands. Um, to start this off, where did you get the inspiration from to, of your writing, of writing your book? Mm -hmm. um, last year, I got the opportunity to follow student mobility program from mm -hmm. Analash University. If you wanna, uh, if you if you ask me from whom or from where I get my inspiration to write this book, actually from myself because I wanna share my experience during I was in Holland to my friends, especially uh, at students who under this university here, and then uh, actually there is a writer who inspired me a lot. His name is Andrea Girata. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He is a famous writer in Indonesia. Well, that's so interesting. Have you ever thought of writing a book before you did this? I don't think so. Oh uh, yeah, before writing this book, I am a journalist at uh, Faculty of Humanities. Oh. Yeah. Um, I think because of that, um, because of that skill, mm. I can write this book. Well, that's impressive, <laughs> though. Um, and how long did it take for you to write? Memories of Netherlands. Actually, only two weeks. Two uh, weeks. I, I mean, only two months. Oh. Uh, because uh, when I was in Netherlands, mm -hmm. I write this story every day. For example, like when I meet you today, mm -hmm. I will um tell, I will write the story at uh, at uh, in the evening. So actually, it is only two months. But on the other hand, uh, my editor Iburia Febrina, um. Uh, uh, ask me to put uh, some information in my book mm -hmm. like add some information at this and at that like uh, uh, doing research again uh, to uh, in this book so yeah. yeah I need one year I need to spend one year to finish uh, this book from writing until publishing uh, that mm -hmm. book until the end yes until the so. end this book tells you tells about your story, your experiences yes. when you were in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. um, how did you feel when you went there? I'm so amazed. I'm so excited because that's the first time for me to go outside. Mm -hmm. uh, so far from my family. You mean to go abroad? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, I got so many new experiences, and also I got cultural shocks. Mm. when I was there because uh, let me compare between Netherlands and Indonesia like uh, in Indonesia it is a taboo thing when we kiss each other with our partner in front of the public mm -hmm. but there it is a common thing so yeah. it's okay for you to kiss your partner in front of other people that's the, the first one and then the second one is um, yeah, neither Dutch is very calm uh, on time people mm -hmm. yeah. um, compared in Indonesia. How did you feel when you had to come back to Indonesia? 
to be honest, I'm so sad because <laughs> I wanna still there because mm. yeah, because one month is a very short for me. But first of all, I wanna say thank you very much to Andalas University and also my department mm. who had given opportunities to me to go outside to go to the Netherlands. Yeah, but when when you ask me my feeling when I have to come back to Indonesia, yeah, I'm so sad because I'm still I, I still want to what we call that to you still have, have to stay there. Yeah, yes, I I want to stay there more yeah. and feel uh yeah get so many experiences other experiences. Um, now that you have become a writer, mm -hmm. how do you feel? Um, actually, I feel so. I feel. I, I feel so happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Until now on, I still don't believe that I am a writer. Yeah, I don't believe that I can finish this book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but so you did not believe in the beginning when you started off writing this that yeah. it would actually become a book. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, I think. Mm -hmm. I think I also had that feeling like 15 years, when 13 you write years. Your book, yeah. yeah, when I wrote my first book, I think I also had that same feeling. Mm -hmm. But I was more impatient. Mm -hmm. I was like, I wanted to get out, I wanted to get out. So at the end, it got out. Mm -hmm. So is there any difference or differences between before you became a writer and after you became a writer? Yeah. Personally, mm -hmm. I'm still Mita Handayani, mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, yeah, of course there is a, a difference between uh, before uh, writing a book and after writing a book. Uh, after writing a book, uh, I try to challenge myself to keep writing, to share my ideas to other people, to share what I have to other people. Yeah, I think that's all. Do you have? Do you have any plans in writing a new book? Mm, yes. Um, yeah. Today, um, I'm writing a poems oh. in my blog. Uh, if you wanna read my poems, you can visit my blog. The name is mitahandayani98.blogspot.com. You can uh, you can read my poems there. And I'm planning to uh, to yeah. To make it in a book, oh. a special po poem for uh, a special poetry book. Yes. Ah, I I have that already. Oh, really? Yeah, that is my second book. Ah, my second book. Yes, it's a poetry book. Mm. Um, and uh, when it comes to the audience, do you have a specific group of audience you would like to share your story with? Of course. My target is uh, Indonesian young generation, mm -hmm. especially uh, for the students, uh, because in my uh, opinion, uh, young generation is asset for Indonesia in the future. Yeah. If there's any advice you would give people, especially the young generation, what would that be? Mm, yeah, there are so many people ask me how to be a writer, mm -hmm. and then my answer is, don't ask tricks or tips how to be a writer mm -hmm. just write yes. that's all just write and then you can revise it and then later you can edit it it just just write don't ask how to write just uh, just write and then share your idea share your feeling to your writing okay well here we are at the end that was very interesting thank you for doing this yeah. interview should we yeah thank you so much <laughs> Um, this is Memories of a Netherlands. Um, I must say that I am very proud of you because the difference between us is like I have 10 years ago yeah. I debuted in 2011, I remember. Mm -hmm. And now being able to meet someone at a young age as well mm -hmm. to publish a book, I feel very proud. Thank you you so know, much. because you have taken the step forward in doing what you felt like doing mm -hmm. and you still feel like doing things. So I would say like good luck on your career. Don't give up. Mm -hmm. You might um, experience ups and downs. Yes. You, have, you will always have that. Yeah. But uh, you're not giving up and keep going forward. You'll see that you will reach a certain uh, 
goal. Yes. So once again, thank you so much. Yeah, thank, and you, Ryan. thank you for inviting me yeah. in this uh, very special moment. Interview. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, this is her book. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, Ryan. Okay. Please open it. Rain, I got you something. Can you open it? Thank you. So, are you sure? Yes, I can open this. Yes, of course. I got one. Yo, this is beautiful. This is fabulous. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Miguel. Oh, it has picture in it. Yeah. It's quite uh, nice to see this. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Ren. Happy reading. Thank you.